BrainWorks project is a study, and it is actually a program that's designed to increase Alzheimer's disease education among African Americans. And one of the reasons that I wanted to do this study is because the rates of Alzheimer's disease are so high for African Americans, two to three times that of whites. And there's a lower level of knowledge about Alzheimer's disease in our community. And so I wanted to create a study to raise the level of knowledge so that we can become more aware of the symptoms, more of the signs, get cognitive assessments, and get help if we need it. Our research is trying to discover the causes, the mechanisms behind Alzheimer's disease, and we want to recruit older people who are more at risk. Getting the visibility with a large African American community like here is fantastic for potentially educating them, learning from them at our side about uh, the issues that might be contributing towards Alzheimer's disease. Dr. Lincoln and I have been working together. I am learning so much from her in terms of how to approach our non-mainstream populations. Part of the testing the brain works was to have people in three different groups. So we had a control group that only attended our talk show where we delivered our Alzheimer's disease curriculum. And then we had two other groups that received text messages. So one group received text messages that the general population would receive. And those messages were based on information from the Alzheimer's Association, Center for Disease Control. The other group received text messages that were specifically tailored for African Americans. So they receive the same information, but we changed the language a bit. We use colloquials, for example, so that it was more relevant for African Americans. And so what we found, that everyone's Alzheimer's disease literacy increased, all three groups, but it increased the most among those who received our culturally tailored text messages. Eligibility was pretty straightforward and simple, you know, African American, 45 and above, and, and healthy, you know, is what we were really looking for. We were able to get at least 253 people you know, that were eligible for the study and, and, and of the 253, we actually enrolled 198 in the study that actually went through all three parts of the study from the beginning to the end and that was amazing. I am one of the people that received the specific text messages um, geared toward African Americans and I can tell you the information was overwhelming. My mom is a part of this study. Her knowledge has increased. We've, in, we've increased our conversations about, you know, Alzheimer's. If there comes a time that's going to happen, you know, what we want to do, you know, how, how she wants to be treated. I have spent a lot of time trying to understand uh, some of the symptoms and the causes. Some people call it, call it Alzheimer's, some people say dementia. This study was to collect information to find out uh, some things in our daily behavior that may be uh, some of the early symptoms of uh, what's called Alzheimer's. Our Senior Advisory Council is comprised of about maybe 16 members and of those 16 we have six committed people that are actually part of our research team which means they basically they go through all the training, um, they help us identify you know, sites, they help us put together the questionnaires, they help us go out and do the focus groups. And as we move through it to keep people engaged, we you know, kept telling them, you know, when will I see you again? You know, it's like we had dates for the different shows that we were doing and so that was you know, part of um, that whole process. The talk show format is really in place of how we typically deliver information to people with PowerPoint, or with brochures, or via the internet. We call it BrainWorks Live. And the audience are our study participants or the people who are attending the educational event. BrainWorks Live is a fantastic idea. Why didn't we think of it earlier to discuss with audiences through a talk show format. I was delighted to participate in the two talk show formats with Karen and the interviews, the questions, the dialogue with the individuals in this community was really vibrant, exciting. It was very clear there was a, a lust, a desire, a need for knowledge, for information. I am really excited about this BrainWorks program. The older adult population in Los Angeles County is growing exponentially. Having the program available will allow us to get it out to our 150 senior centers throughout Los Angeles County, as well as working with the population that is already having symptoms of dementia or Alzheimer's. We want to expand the study 
And we want to see that if increasing Alzheimer's disease literacy will actually lead to other health behavior changes, um, will it encourage people to get screened for cognitive health? I think what Karen's doing in this study is groundbreaking. How do we get information to study participants? I think we'll all learn from this. How, how can we better inform the public? So I think it's a, an exceedingly valuable study that will teach us a lot and, and ongoing will teach us more. This study has helped people just open up, ask all the questions and all the myths have gotten, you know, blown out the window and so I've loved it. I think it's excellent.